Good morning, folks. We've got some key items to hit today. We'll have some catching up to do for a special video coming this weekend. We're going to start with our star, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the southern coronal hole, isolated from the polar coronal hole further to the south, and that's about it on the disk right now. All surface active areas have turned to the far side. The solar wind is ultra calm. Three days of telemetry up top, all in calm range. Minor variability in calm conditions on the magnetometer and KP index are below. We're going to go to some positive news here. This was Australia just 10 days ago. We'd been showing both ground shots of the blaze and the satellite fire returns. But then the drought began to break as a line of rainstorms crossed the entire fire area. And while the situation is far from over, it did beat back the blaze to where the firefighters are now gaining the upper hand up and down the coastline. And folks, in the next 36 hours, they're due to get even more rain in the fire zone. Let the sky open up for them. Bit of a different disaster in Africa. Centered in Kenya, we find the worst locust swarms in 25 years, with the largest swarm measuring 37 by 25 miles, which is almost 1,000 square miles, which is one heck of a locust swarm. Lastly on the Earth stories, we go to North America. Blizzard pounding the Midwest has shut down airports and highways, but not before tossing some trucks and a few airplanes off the pavement. It is a step below the blizzard pounding Newfoundland and Labrador, however. Their capital, St. John's here, had to declare emergency conditions. We're going to go next to some plasma astrophysics. The New Jersey Institute of Technology's space weather team is all in. They've got a suite of solar physicists and observatory tools and in using microwave emission of the corona to study the magnetic fields of the sun during the great 2017 uptick, they found that the greatest of those solar flares was in fact triggered when the magnetic field structure became unstable and the electric field surged to incredible power that energized the surrounding plasma to the equivalent of 1 billion degrees. That was in the solar flare and coronal mass ejection. FYI, the microwave instrument is tops on Earth, and it's basically a plasma astrophysicist dream suite. Now from plasma astrophysics to plasma cosmology, and we're going with the smallest component, the particle physics. To review, the majority of the expected range for their unicorn dark matter particles is gone. Not there. So now they look in two areas, above and below that which would be warm, ultra-tiny dark matter particles and the cold, huge dark matter particles up to 100 billion times the size of a proton. Well, we've had plenty of chuckles the last year on not only the concept, but their failed attempts to find those leviathans, which, again, are not there. But today we're going to cut down the other side. Whether it's solitons or dark photons, the tiny side of their searches go to masses that are insanely small. But now, we can clearly state that about 1% of the size of the electron is the theoretical floor. This cuts out over half the remaining theories on the small side of things. And folks, we are rapidly approaching that moment when the entire window is gone. Now folks, if you're at all behind, I'm sorry to implore your devoting time to catch up. We had our earthquake and volcano update to kick off the year, and by the way, the links to all these videos are found right below. We recently did a special on the galactic magnetic field and current sheet, which better characterizes what it is and how it works. I do feel bad for the climate series we're in the middle of. We keep interrupting it, but we did get part five on tropical storm forcing out this last week, and we are going to interrupt it once again this weekend because 2020 is quite the year for the planets, and we've got confirmation once again this morning that their geometries matter. From Mercury to Neptune, they all drive different solar cycle or activity phenomena, and the next interruption of the climate series will be to jump back before the three movies of 2019, before the 23-part catastrophe series that started in 2018, back to the planets and the sun. Folks, 2020 has some of the greatest planetary geometries in years. We expect quite the energetic situation in the coming months, and while temptation for speculation in the comments section today will abound, it's critical to take just 18 minutes. Watch these four videos, because the special video this weekend will give you plenty to comment on, I assure you. We greatly appreciate your support. All those videos to catch up on and today's links are listed below. We've got your wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. And of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 420 AM in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.